now that the latest Katalina update seems to be quite stable and everything that I have works like the audio interface and plugins and stuff like that is supported it was time to update and talk about the metal update of Final Cut 10 that was uh, announced with 10.4.7 and uh, how everything works in terms of eGPU so there you go I'm still running the 2018 Mac Mini and have the Razer Core X uh, eGPU with the Radeon 7 as my main card and uh, there you go I did the usual test with the projects that I'm using all the time and here are the numbers. So as you can see with the Metal update 10.4.7 there was a little bit of improvement, I mean 10 seconds or so, but also overall performance and smoothness and playback performance uh, was noticeably better or faster or smoother and um, yeah so that was a big thing I think. Uh, and uh, in terms of Catalina, um, early reports with 10.4.7 and the first version of Catalina, some actually reported slower performance with certain machines like the iMac Pro or something like that. But I tested with the current version of Catalina's 10.15.2 and with 10.4.8 <laughs> Final Cut 10. And as you can see, it's basically the same. It's one second. I think that's margin of error. Now, one strange thing happened with the last Metal update uh, for Final Cut 10 with 10.4.7 and in Mojave and I tested it as well with the current update and Catalina and uh, yeah, there's something odd going on. The Final Cut 10 uses the, not the external graphics card, no matter what I select for the H.264 export it uses the internal GPU, which kind of makes sense because um, H.264 is usually done by the Intel CPU and Quick Link or Quick Sync, and the internal GPU is part of the internal CPU. And uh, yeah, it kind of makes sense, but it's also quite slow because that GPU is quite bad and quite slow. So don't export H.264 right out of Final Cut 10 or even the, the option with sending it to compressor. It doesn't use the external GPU as well. So don't use that. It's horrible. Instead, export a ProS LT inside of Final Cut 10. I do that always. I did that before and use compressor or even handbrake which is my favorite to export an H.264. It's more efficient that way, I think, and you are more flexible, maybe. And with handbrake, you actually, even though it's a bit slower, as you can see, it's more efficient, um, meaning the quality of the export is better with lower bit rates than you have to use in compressor. And overall, I think uh, the quality of the files are better. Also, I did a quick test with the Vega 624 in the current system. So with the current update uh, with Final Cut and macOS. And as you can see, it's a bit slower. It's like 10, 15, 20 seconds slower, depending on what you do. And uh, yeah, but it's still a good card. Overall performance is good. I think with the Radeon 7, the playback performance is a bit better with the Final Cut playback and stuff like that. So you might notice a bit more improvements uh, on that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so there you have it. Um, I think the Catalina and Final Cut updates are stable now. Everything works smoothly. Each GPU support is there. It's not mind-blowing. I'm not quite sure if the Radeon 7 will ever get the full driver support um, or if that is really the end of the line with that GPU. I think it's capable of more performance, but that again, it also could be that Thunderbolt 3 just doesn't allow the full performance of this card um, yeah so anyways so there you go this is the current state of the eGPU in terms of Mojave Catalina Final Cut 10 so the other questions now that the Mac Pro is out and there will be more GPU support like the 5700 series of cards even though the Radeon Pro W 5700X will have 
16 gigs. Uh, I think uh, for the eGPU use, uh, the 8 gig version is basically fine. But in the end, it's the same chip, same infrastructure, same Steam processors and compute units. Um, so yeah, I think I might test the consumer grade uh, Radeon 5700 XT with 8 gigs in my eGPU. Let me know in the comments if that is something you want to see uh, and I will have to buy one. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I um, currently have like four GPUs laying around here. So <laughs> still all from testing and stuff like that.